Hi, this is John with Flat Six Motorsports. Today we're going to talk about Macan tunes. Now you remember in the last installment we compared piggyback tunes and flash tuning. Today we're going to talk about piggyback tunes as they're simple to install and effective. Stay tuned. <laughs> Last installment we talked about different tuning options and how it's probably the best bang for your buck with turbocharged vehicles. Now today we're going to focus on three different hardware devices, the Ren chip, Race chip, and the DTE system slash chip work uh, tuning solution. I'm going to dive into the hardware. Episode 3 is going to come in the next week or the week after and we're actually going to put performance numbers to each of these. So we're going to install them, do some road testing, how smooth the tune is. And then performance numbers, we're going to do some acceleration numbers, 0 to 60, your 20 to 80, 40 to 80 type times. Uh, and we'll have all those data logs to show you and share with you. And then also some just street driving impressions, because at the end of the day, this is something you're going to live with. And you want to make sure that the, the tune and the calibration is refined so that when you're driving it daily, it feels good. That you have the added power, but it also is smooth and delivers the power in a way that you expect. So let's take a look at all the hardware. Okay, so first up, let's talk about the race chip. Now, this is a very popular chip uh, piggyback system for the Macan. It's available for all variants of the Macan. Um, and you can see here's the casing. All these are gonna have pretty similar casing. Uh, it's gonna be plastic with some fiberglass reinforcement. Uh, there's the connector. Let me just show you the looms. Um, the instructions are very clear. All these actually have very clear instructions. I'll just flip through. You can see very clear. All these are very easy to install. Um, the one thing I did notice right away is that this loom um, only has two connectors to it. So it's got a, they are labeled uh, A and B, which is helpful to see where you're going there in the instructions. Uh, but one's the boost pressure sensor and the other is the manifold um, pressure sensor. So your map sensor and your boost. Um, so just having two sensors means that this unit's only going to be able to affect uh, those two measurements. It's not going to be able to adjust the timing at all. The other two actually do have um, a timing sensor, um, so it's able to read and intercept the timing sensor, so it, in theory, can adjust timing. Um, there's a little tool here that to adjust the maps on the race chip. You just turn it over, you unscrew these bolts, and there's a little dial on the inside that you can turn it up or down. A little bit less convenient than the others, but at the end of the day, I think once you get to a point where you feel good with the map, you're probably not going to adjust it a ton, um, you know, maybe here and there, but it's not something that you'd be out in your driveway every day, you know, going up and down. It also has this jumper bypass plug, which is nice because if you disconnect the race chip and this loom still connected to your car, you can simply just insert this like that and essentially it's back to stock. So. Uh, nice if you're going to take it into a dealer appointment and you just want to get rid of the trace of this and you still want to leave the wiring. Although it's very easy to remove the wiring too, so um, it's a nice have, but not an essential feature. Okay, so next up we have the Ren chip. And this unit, um, you know, very similar, I guess, to all of them. It's nice that it actually tells you what uh, version it is. Um, the other ones don't. I guess give you a little reassurance. There's a connector. All the adjustments are done via this dial right here. Let me get a little close up. Um, so it's set at five and then you can move that up and that's gonna change basically the tune or the map. It's a little more aggressive or more conservative. Um, so it can add a little bit more boost and timing. Um, nice unit, pretty standard. Um, all the, actually right off the bat, let me just explain one of the big differences that I see with the red chip versus uh, the other two is that it has uh, connector to go to the power a power source and this is a fuse and so what that tells me is this box needs about 12 access at least to 12 volts of power typically a sensor is only going to max out at about 5 volts um, I'm not sure if this really matters but what it does tell me is whatever microprocessors on board here is requiring more power so maybe it's less efficient but maybe it's more powerful I, I really don't know um, but one thing I did notice right off the bat now, the Ren chip also is going to have three sensors. It's going to have, and they're clearly labeled, um, let me just, in German and English. Let's see if I can get that in focus. So this is your, uh, sorry, your map sensor. And it's got your 
uh, camshaft sensor, camshaft advanced sensor, and then um, also your boost sensor. Now, one thing I do like about the wiring loom on this is actually it's it's kind of this uh, this tape is like a clothy type material, but it's it's very thin. So uh, compared to the other ones, let me just show you another one. It's much smaller footprint. So if you do connect these, you can run them in uh, zip time in places to make it look very clean and where it's out of sight and doesn't look like you have anything done. Um, this too comes with the jumper plug. You can plug in, I showed you that on the uh, race chip, bypasses the system. Um, and Redchip also does have an app. It's not available for the Macan S or Turbo at this point. I'm not sure if it will be. It is available for the Macan 2.0. And essentially what the app does is allows you to turn the unit on or off. And then it also can toggle between an eco mode, a sport mode and a sport plus mode. Sport plus being the most powerful of the modes. And then the instructions, again, very clear, uh, nice pictures labeled how to plug them in. Um, all these actually, as I mentioned, are good, good with the instructions. Uh, all look good quality with the connectors. Um, you can see they actually use some OEM ones. Um, and that's uh, got some zip ties included and then a bolt for, I believe, the ground of uh, this electrical connection. So last up we have the DTE systems and this was actually sold as Chipwork, but since Chipwork has removed it from their website, so I'm not sure what the deal is there. Uh, it's a pretty standard unit. Again, it has a nice little label to tell you what version this is for. Um, and then you can program this up or down and basically adjust through the map. So it has a lot of adjustability. This is a electronic version instead of a manual version. The looms are pretty standard. This is going to be the uh, three wire layout. I actually have very clear and colored, unique colors, which is nice. So this is the boost pressure sensor. Um, and then you have the numbered and colored, which is, I think, a really great idea. Um, this is, as I mentioned, going to intercept all three. I've kind of covered everything, so there's not too much different about the hardware itself. Uh, clear instructions again. All these guys have have done a great job with uh, pictures uh, showing you step by step and we're going to show you step by step as well. Um, so that's the hardware. So that's the hardware. From a hardware perspective, it looks like Renship has the best offering. Not only does it control all three key sensors, but it also does require a little more power, which to me suggests that it has a little bit more uh, running on board from a, a processing standpoint. Uh, all this is great, but it re what really matters is putting this in the vehicle and seeing how it does, both from a performance perspective and how refined the calibration is. Uh, I'm excited to do this, so stay tuned for the next installment. If you have any questions about these tunes specifically, feel free to reach out to us at info at flat6motorsports.com. Also check the websites below. We're going to put the links to each of these products, and on the product pages you'll find more information. I uh, hope you enjoyed it. Stay tuned. Thanks. Yeah.